here is the review of Transformers The Last Knight Leader Class Megatron. As you can see, he is a jet. And I gotta say, this is a really cool looking jet mode all around. He, he also has some weathering on the nose cone here. And he also has some of this, like, like lighter yellow on the nose cone to break up a lot of this gray. And these Cybertronian symbols, what, what I like to call, on the nose cone and on the wings, these are not, like, tampographed on. They're actually molded into the plastic and painted. Which is nice. Now... For features, he has re retractable landing gear, and also the cockpit here. First, I will have to zoom in. The cockpit here can open up, but, but to do that, I will have to use a tool. And that, that's about it for the features. And also, his sword here can plug onto this hole here using this peg. And he also comes with these effect pieces that, that you can plug on, on these holes on the th thrusters. Or, if, if you want to, you can also plug them in here.
Now, one problem I I don't like about the chat mode is the nose cone here. Because, well, th this right here is a button. And it's on a hair trigger. Which means sometimes when you're messing around with him, his nose cone here will will come apart. And, and to do that, you, you want to pu push this button here. And that will open it up. And th this is because the, the, the cannon here needs to slide all the way in so that these will lo lock into place. Be because if this is like slide out to about here, like halfway, it, it won't close all the way. So it has to be slide all the way in so that way these can close up Uh, oh, and his fusion cannon is is just on a slider, as you've already seen. It it's not on a spring. So, I think that's about it for jet mode. So, to transform him, first I will have to remove his sword. For, first off, Come to the jet engines here, or the th thrusters here. Untap them using these pegs and and the these holes here. I'm not sure if if you can see it, but it it's there. Untap the wings here and bring them up. See there, there there's the hole where, where the tab goes in here. And this hole here is where the, this tab here goes in. Now you want to untab the engines here and then bring them all the way in and then unhook the wings from here 
and then you want to bring down the wings and these are going to go in these grooves here. Then bring these down, and then close these down, and you, you want to rotate the, the wings the, this way. And then you just do the same thing on the other wing. And then you you want to take take the wings here and rotate them down. And then you want to take the, this whole entire thing here and shift it. Shift it up to about here. Then take these here, untap them, and then bring them down. And this is the hook tab here that, that goes in here. And what what will become his knees in robot mode will just tab in here. Then you bring his knee down, rotate it around, flip up the the jet, jet engines here. Fold these in, and there you go. Th then you want to take his chest here untap it and bring it down and that's the tab where this groove here goes in and then you wanna get, get your finger in here to push out the, this piece so that you can untab the nose cone from the sides. Just like that. And then you want to bring them down. Well, br bring down what, what will become his arms. Th 
Then you want to take his shoulders here, untap them, and then bring them all the way around until they tap into place. Then you want to straighten out his elbows and rotate them down. Then you want to get, get your finger in here so that way you can push out his hands. And then close this piece up. And for this arm here, you want to take the nose cone here, untap it, and then bring it up to about here. Then get your finger in here so that way you can push out his other hand. And then you want to bring down the nose cone while bringing this, the, the armature, up. <clears throat> and it will tap into place. And you, you can now open up the no nose cone and slide out the fusion cannon. Then take his head here, flip it around, then take his chest here, bring it up, and it will tab into place. Then bring up his back piece up, and you're, you're done. Now, out of the three Megatrons from the movies, this is the best design of him. And yes, I know his fusion cannon here is not how it looks like in, in the movie. But it is what it is. And it, it doesn't really bother me. Also, he has some more of that... That weathered... Paint on... On his chest here. And also on his shoulders.
Oh, and also his skirt. I'm trying to get him to stand up. And he he has more of that lighter yellow on his arms, his head here, and also his legs here. So, for articulation, he has a swivel at the head, arms can rotate, oh, that, that's something that I will have to t talk about. In, in a minute. Arms move in and out. Bicep swivel. Single jointed elbows. Wrist swivel. Front skirts and side skirts can move out. Legs can ratchet forward, back, move in and out, knee swivel, bend at the knee, and he has ankle pivot. And his toes can move up and down. And he, he can hold his sword in either one of his hands. And for these effect pieces, you can also have it plugged on the fusion cannon. So you can have it 
like like that. And what what you've already like seen, he does have a battle mask. And to to, to do that, he has this switch here. And when you bring it up, it, his mouth will rotate and these will close up and you have his battle mask So, final thoughts, my only problem with him is sometimes when you're, when you're messing with him in jet mode, you'll accidentally hit that button on the nose cone, which will open up the nose cone. But, but as I've already told you, the only way to not have that happen is to make sure the the fusion cannon here is pushed up all the way. So that way halves of these nose cones of the jet can stay closed. But, but everything else looks awesome on this figure in both modes. So, I think that's about it. So, there you have it. Transformers The Last Night Leader, Leader Class Megatron. And if you like this video, give me a like, comment, and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.